Hello caregivers and friends of Hope Grows. I'm Martha Lavolsi, a wellness advocate with essential oils and certified in Aroma Touch technique. This is Boomer, my seven-year-old male Labradoodle. Boomer is going to be our model today as we talk about spiritual purpose and Roman chamomile. Like all of us, Boomer has uh, a lot of energy at times and kindness but sometimes has some anxiety. For some reason, this breed has sensitive paws, and we're gonna talk a little bit about that later in our, our discussion. Let's see if we can get him to shake. Shake, shake, come on, shake, shake. There we go, good boy. Even though today is the first day of May, I'd like to go back to the theme at the end of this month of April being spiritual purpose. We've all heard about Roman chamomile and the effects chamomile tea and baby shampoo with chamomile has, but did you know that it can help support our discovery of our life's spiritual purpose? Let's define spiritual purpose first. It isn't just our outward actions of what we do for a living, but it is what is found in our heart and souls, and that is released to the outside world around us. I'd like to call that our heart and soul's DNA. Spiritual purpose is said to really mean our purpose in serving others. So as individuals who live from the center of our being, once we determine our serving purpose, we can enjoy a more profound peace. It's also said that if you know what you're seeking in life, this will help define your spiritual purpose as well. Roman chamomile helps a person in shedding meaningless activities that consume our daily lives. And that if we avoid that, we can help focus in on what is really our purpose in life. In other words, our work of our souls. Roman chamomile oil helps in calming insecurities, softens the personality by easing the overactive ego, and restores confidence in doing what we came to do on earth. Some people actually fear poverty if they do what they love to do for a living. However, Roman chamomile reminds us, do what you love to do and you will experience real success. So some quick facts about Roman chamomile. Uh, it's part of the daisy family and is recognizable with a yellow center and white petals. I think it's very symbolic of the sun, with the sun being a joyful, bright yellow color, which sometimes means uh, courageous. Uh, and then the white petals emanating from the center, representing outward rays of light toward others. Roman chamomile was traditionally used by the ancient Romans to give them clarity of mind, and empowered them with courage for their battles, creating a mindset of peace. I like to remember what the meaning of Roman chamomile is, its use being very calming, in other words, to call it Roman calmomile. So, just like we were talking earlier about Boomer's sensitive paws, the use of Roman chamomile could be considered a sensitive pause in time by the Romans as they stepped back to find their certain peace and purpose before they entered battle or in our life enter challenges. I hope you like my play on words. Presently, Roman cam chamomile is known for its anti-spasmodic, anti-infectious, anti-parasitic, and anti-inflammatory benefits. It is well known for, like I said, calming effects due to the neuroprotective properties. It supports the nervous system, emotional balance, and skin. 
It's highly soothing for irritability, nervousness, I can't say that word, nervousness and anxiety, and helpful for a healthy immune function, muscle tension, insomnia, allergies, and numerous other uses. It can be used topically, aromatically, and internally, but with proper direction. Please use a carrier oil because sometimes it can affect sensitive skin. So put a drop or two on your forehead or behind your ears, or simply just smell it from the bottle to enjoy a peace-filled moment. I hope this discussion has been informative about another beautiful gift from God like Roman chamomile and how it serves us to help reveal and live out our spiritual purpose. In light of today being May Day, I wanted to just mention the tradition of leaving gifts and treats uh, secretly at a friend or neighbor's door. This would go on for years past. And so today, virtually, I'm sending you a bouquet of flowers. Virtually, like I said, wishing I could hand them to you in person and hoping that you are staying strong through this quarantining time. I hope you've enjoyed this little discussion and hope to see you soon as we gather safely. Stay well and strong. Bye-bye.